Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to learn all about the object cloning. So what actually is a cloning? Object cloning is nothing but creating a copy of an object. And here PHP provides different ways to copy the particular object. So basically when you use the clone keyword, then actually PHP performs the shallow copy. That means that if any changes are made in the cloned object, it will not affect the original object. But suppose if you want to do the deep cloning, then in that case, you have to implement the PHP magic function clone method. And this clone method, you cannot directly call it. So you have to use it with clone keyword. Basically in PHP, Cloning an object, as I have already told you, it is a shallow copy and you have to take some extra steps to implement the deep copy. What actually is the meaning of deep copy? It means that the content objects of the copied objects are not copied. And if you wish for a deep copy, then obviously you have to implement the PHP magic function that is clone method. So let me take you three examples how to do this object cloning and what are the drawbacks in each of these methods and how deep copy method can solve our all our issues so let me first give you a simple example of copy objects by assignment so here first i'm going to show you without using the clone keyword how actually the objects can be copied by the assignment operator so let me take one example of this class student so here say suppose student class is having two member variables dollar name and dollar address i'll define one method set name which will take one argument arc I'll set this to the name variable then I'll create one class called as address and here this will consist of two member variables CT and pin number and I'm going to use the method set address having two arguments CT and pin and this will be set accordingly in the CT and pin member variables now so basically what actually you are observing is that this is one class student and this is containing one normal variable and this address is nothing but it will be holding the object of this second class address like say suppose if you are creating one object variable of class student so say suppose i'll name it student one Inside the student one object variable, I'm going to create one new object variable of class new address. And now I will initialize the name variable of student one object variable to the address within address CT. I will initialize it to Nasik and I'll set the pin to pin number 422003 so this is the original object of name Deepak who lives in Nasik and whose pin number is 422003 now say suppose I want to copy this particular student 1 and create its copy in a variable student 2 so in copy objects by assignments I will simply use the assignment operator like this. So I'll declare one more object variable student2. This is my assignment operator and here I will assign it to the object variable student1. Now basically when you assign object variables in this way they are copied by reference copied by reference in the sense means what is going to happen so if i later on change the value of student to name say suppose here if i set it to rani by calling the method set name suppose i change 
the city to pune and address pin number to 4110002 then what is going to happen is that so let us check the output of this two student object variables now now see original object consists of deepak nasik and the nasik pin code and now after assigning it to student 2 so i am trying to change the values of the student 2 object variable so it should not affect the student 1 member variables but let us see what is the output that we get so here you will be surprised to see that student 1 contents are changed to the contents of the student 2 whatever changes that i have made so here you can observe that what has taken place is that since we have done copy objects by assignment objects are copied by reference so if you make changes in the cloned object later on so the changes are reflected in the original object variable as well but this is a undesirable thing that we do not want so to resolve this we are now going to see how to use the clone keyword so let us see another example so here when we use simply clone keyword so basically it does the shallow copy now we will try to understand what is the meaning of shallow copy so here again i'll use the same example of class student with the same member variables same method and now here again i'll declare the class address with the member variable ct and pin i'll set the set address and now again i will create one object variable of class student i will again create object variable of class address and now here again i will set the name address ct address pin to deepak nashik and nashik's pin number 422003 now let us see how to use the clone keyword so here now note here the changes after student 2 suppose if i want to copy the contents of student 1 to another object variable called as student 2 so here after the equals to symbol i am now writing here the clone keyword so this clone keyword what is it is going to do is that it is going to copy the content of student1 object variable into object variable student2 if i later on change the content of student2 to, to rani pune and uh, pune's pin number so let us check what will be the output whether as has happened in the copy object by assignment uh, you will get the same output in both or whether original object will remain intact so let us check in the output so here when you use the clone keyword student1 now note here the name deepak is okay it was initially deepak cloning is proper here but if you check the address the address is pune and uh, pune's pin number is there but this is undesirable and uh, observe now here clone object is obviously rani pune and its pin number but what is undesirable here is that deepak's deepak's city and pin number is similar to the rani's city and pin number now this is the case what is referred as shallow copy so it means that if in a particular class if member variables are there so they are properly cloned but if it consists object variable of another class that is not cloned properly so let us try to fix this by implementing the clone method so next example we are going to make use of clone method to perform the deep copy so again we are going to 
repeat the same class now note here i have made one change i am now going to declare the clone method within this class and i am going to write here dollar this arrow operator addr is equals to clone dollar this arrow operator addr in our earlier program what was the issue was that the address was not cloned properly means if you make changes afterwards in the cloned objects address so that was reflected in the original object since we do not want this so here i am going to use the clone method close this class again i will create the address class with ct and pin i set set address to ct and pin now here again i will create one object variable student1 of class student i'll declare object variable of class address i will set the name ct and pin number to deepak nashik and nashik's pin number now i'll be using the clone method so now observe here here again i am going to write the statement dollar student2 is equals to clone student1 so when you put clone here so this is going to call this clone method in the shallow copy i have just used clone keyword without implementing the clone method hence it performed shallow copy but here since i want to perform deep copy i am going to define the clone method here so again i will try to change it to rani pune and pune's pin number so after change let us see what will be the output of the original object and the cloned object student1 is our original object so original object now observe here deepak is there and deepak's address is now correct and when you see the cloned object so cloned object is also correct so this is the advantage of using the clone method this is how object cloning is performed mm -hmm.